What is up everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in today. William Optics has revolutionized astrophotography with their Red Cat 51 Generation 1 and 2 models. Well, they have just announced the release of their Red Cat 51 Generation 3 design with the internal focuser. Let's take a look at everything we know. So this is a Red Cat 51, meaning it is a PETFAL refractor, which means a focal reducer isn't necessary, nor is 55 millimeters of backspacing. All you need to do is achieve focus and you will have a flat field across a 45 millimeter imaging circle. And yes, that also means this is compatible with full frame cameras. If you want to get a better idea of how the Red Cat 51 Generation 3 with the internal focuser is going to perform, take a look at our full review on the Red Cat 61 with the internal focus design. It is a full review, so you can find the link to that video in the description below. So yes, this new Red Cat has a 51 millimeter aperture and a focal length of 250 millimeters, but let's talk about the features. It does have an internal focuser design and this is the biggest difference between the generation 1 and generation 2 designs which have a helical focuser. And what this means is that the optics inside internally move back and forth rather than the back of the scope moving back and forth like a traditional refractor. This is going to help with a shifting of weight and it's going to significantly reduce vignetting in your images. The helical focuser in Gen 1 and Gen 2 required that you buy a third-party accessory if you wanted to use an electronic autofocuser. With the third generation model, this comes EAF ready out of the box. You don't have to purchase any third-party accessories. You can attach your electronic autofocuser directly to the course adjustment focus knob. So if you don't plan on using an electronic autofocuser, it does come with a patented Batnov mask and it does have a dual speed focuser for very precise focusing so you can have pinpoint stars across your field of view. On top of the scope comes the classic handlebar which you can attach accessories to like a guide scope and a guide camera or even an onboard computer like the ASI Air Pro. On the bottom it comes with a Vixen style dovetail which is compatible with nearly every equatorial mount on the market. The rear of the scope does in fact come equipped with a tilt adapter. Just remove that flange and it reveals push pull screws. In addition to this you can also find 2 inch filter threads on the back or M48 filter threads so you can add a narrow band filter or a light pollution blocking filter for added image versatility. And last but definitely not least, it would not be the William Optics Red Cat if it didn't come with the incredible William Optics soft case. Alright, so this is all we know so far about the third generation of this scope. If you are looking to upgrade from a camera lens for astrophotography, the Red Cat has revolutionized portable lightweight astrophotography. This is not a scope that you're going to want to miss out on if you're looking for such an imaging system. All right, so let us know what you think about this scope in the comments below. Don't forget to watch our full review on the Red Cat 61 with the internal focuser design in the description below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you do not miss any future content on all things astronomy and astrophotography. Thank you so much and clear skies.